Hey everybody, JRSPC here with another quick video. Uh, today I want to show you guys what I picked up today at a card shop up in Idaho Falls. The card shop's called Silver Slugger Sports Cards. Uh, it's actually not in Idaho Falls, it's actually in Ammon, Idaho, which is right on the border. And some people say Idaho Falls, but it's actually in Ammon. Uh, anyway, Silver Slugger Sports Cards. Uh, it's a friend of mine, his name is Joe. He's uh, another local card dealer. Kind of quit doing the local show because he's so busy at his shop. And plus, you know, shop's a few hours away. Actually, probably closer to four hours away from where we do our shows, about three and a half. But anyways, without further ado, I thought I'd show you what I picked up at his shop. Uh, and also what I picked up um, uh, when I was up there, you know, just a couple retail pickups too. I picked up three sets, and I thought I'd just show them to you real fast. Uh, one of them was right here. This is the 1993-94 Jam Sessions basketball set. Uh, and it has the four subsets. Um, it says 25. I Basically, I... I got these for a little bit less than uh, than the prices on there, uh, and as you can see, these are these old, super cool tall boys. Uh, why did I buy this set? Well, one reason is because it's complete, and another reason is because the cards were all in great shape. Uh, looks like somebody built this set from um, from a box, and uh, these right here were notoriously in bad condition because people wouldn't handle them well, people wouldn't store them properly, they never put them in tall boy sleeves. Uh, and this person did, and so that's why I bought the set, because I think it's really cool, and it's even cooler to find in high grade. So here's some of the stars from it. Uh, they've got the Jordan there. And I just pulled out the bigger name players, like the Shaq, Pippen, just to show you, LJ. The Jordan's really cool, but check this out. The back picture is way cooler. Should have definitely done that one on the front. But anyways, uh, there's Alonzo Mourning. Uh, let's see. Game of one Reggie Miller, I just thought I'd show you some of the stars in it. Charles Barkley, now these are the size of the old tall boys. There's a Stockton Malone. The tall boys that they made from 69.70 to in 70.71, uh, which is also the, you know, that's where the uh, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Jerry Sloan, uh, Pete Maravich, uh, a lot of great players, rookies were in those sets. Got the Penny Hardaway rookie, Chris Weber, And then you got some of the inserts here. <laughs> I'll show you something that's pretty interesting. This is the Game Breaker insert set. That's got, you know, stars of the time, Kevin Johnson, Dan Marley, nice, really nice looking Scotty Pippen card right there. Um, Starks, uh, Dominique, and then you got the uh, rookie standouts, Vin Baker rookie, Sean Bradley, Colbert Chaney, another Penny Hardaway, Bobby Hurley, uh, let's see, Rodney Rogers, Chris Weber, uh, and then you got the second year standouts, Tom Gugliotta, Jim Jackson, Christian Leitner, Oliver Miller, Harold Miner, who they said was the next Michael Jordan. He did not pan out to be the next Michael Jordan, no, unfortunately. Uh, then we got Zo, Alonzo Mourning, great ball player. Another Shaq right there. And Walt Williams, who wasn't horrible. And this is the funny thing. You got this awesome slam dunk hero subset, okay? Yeah. Ewing, Grandmama, Larry Johnson, Sean Kemp, those are great dunkers. Carl Malone, Alonzo Mourning, Hakeem Olajuwon, David Robinson, and Shaquille O'Neal. Now, what is missing from this Slam Dunk Hero set? Where's the Michael Jordan? <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> that was that's frustrating that there's no Michael Jordan card in the Slam Dunk Hero set. I was very, very bummed out because I was hoping for another cool Jordan card in the set. But I right, put these back in here just the way they were. Nice napkin there of some sort. Maybe toilet paper. I don't know. All right, next up, what do we get here? Let's see. Man, I got a lot of fun stuff here. Picked up this set right here, uh, the 1991 Opeachy Premier. This is, woohoo! This is a great deal. Sorry, my fan's blowing things around. Got the Armour Yager. It's centered nicely and it's in great condition, uh, along with the rest of the 132 card set. We paid thirty dollars for that one right there. Uh, Yarmir and PSA 10 is like a few hundred dollar card, um, but the set sells for. I've seen it sell for upwards of 150, but you can figure about 70 bucks to 150. But I plan on getting the cards graded if. Uh, PSA ever decides to do some cheap bulk grading again. All right, next up, this will be the last set I picked up. Picked up this one right here. Uh, I had to pick it up for 20 bucks. It's 1998 Metal Universe uh, baseball complete set. And uh, I hate the way they're in here, but that's okay. I'll just show you a couple of the good cards in here. You know, a couple of reasons why I bought the set. First of all, Metal Universe and High Grade are worth a ton of money. But uh, I, I, I kind of bought it more so for... It's got all the great stars. I mean, the stars in the set, you know, you can you can figure whatever you want. You know, are they a dollar? Are they three dollars? I've seen some of the guys like Bond sell for seven bucks, just raw. Uh, there's a nice Derek Jeter. Pull him out. He'll get sleeved up. 
and then a nice Ripken right there. I'll sleeve him up. I'll go through here and sleeve up the good ones. But then they also got these Hardball Galaxy uh, insert set. There's nice Bonds, uh, Tony Clark, uh, Roger Clemens. These are pretty cool. There's a Griffey uh, with a Dion. And then there's a nice Jeter right there. I'll get that one right there sleeved up too. So I basically picked these up. A nice Randy Johnson. Because um, it's, it's a great set. They're all pretty darn clean. No more. There's Piazza, Ripken, A-Rod. But a fun set, Frank Thomas, who's that, Mo Vaughn, Big Mo, uh, Larry Walker, and then some checklist cards here, A-Rod, Thomas, and Griffey. Uh, but anyways, yeah, great, great set to uh, to pick up, uh, especially for 20 bucks. I mean, definitely worth 20 bucks in my opinion. So we got that one. Hold on, I'll show you some more. Now we're going to get into um, some unopened wax and stuff like that that I picked up at the shop. Okay, I got I think I got a handful of boxes of unopened wax. I got a, a couple of these 1991 uh, Pinnacle football. Uh, real nice clean boxes. I only paid a got 15 bucks on there. I might have got it for a couple dollars cheaper. I picked up uh, two of these right here also. Two 1990 Fleer football boxes. Um, this one's nice and clean. I figured I could just in here and just put them out uh, at the show for people to buy some cheaper wax. Uh, paid about 10 bucks a piece on those boxes. And then the last box I picked up was just another cheap one. Something I used to pay like $3 for. But a 1990 score football. And you had 10 bucks on that one. And I was like, eh, it'd be a good one to put out there. Just cheap packs for people. So that's pretty cool. Uh, let's see what else we got here. I found these right here. I thought these were awesome. I had to buy them. I had to get them. Where is the other one? I gotta find the other one here. Ah, uh, let's see here. Well, I'll just show you this right here first. Picked up this nice uh, classic double um, starting lineup. Pretty cool. Got the Namath and Don Maynard. I uh, had ten bucks on this one here. I probably got it for five bucks. I'm pretty sure is what I paid for that one. So that's pretty cool. And then we got a whole bunch of other fun stuff too. Let's see. Well, I picked up this right here. I had to, had to get this for five bucks. And I probably paid less for it as well. Kind of added everything up and they gave me a discount. But it's an old 1999, what they call Penheads. And it's Derek Jeter. So I got to add that to the Derek Jeter collection for sure. And then I picked up a bunch of these. This one was the most expensive one by far. It's a Sidney Crosby uh, McFarlane. And uh, this one here was 20 bucks. That's a little bit more of a collector edition one. Uh, I like uh, McFarlane's, in case you guys didn't already know. I love them. There's the back of the box. You got a lot of good ones on there. Bobby Ord would be cool to get. And Avection and Gretzky, obviously. The other guys, I'm like, eh, you know. Wendell Clark, great player. Maurice Richard, great player. But I, I like the uh, other guys a little better. And now I'll quickly go through and show you um, some more McFarlane's I picked up. Every one of these McFarlane's he had priced for five bucks. And I'm gonna pause the video and I'm gonna lift up my camera so you can see better. All right, so we got uh, uh, got this nice Richard Jefferson. I uh, loved him on the Nets. Uh, that was the first time I ever considered myself a fan of a team was the uh, late 90s Nets when they had Vince Carter and um, uh, Jason Kidd and Jefferson. Let's see, I got this Eddie Jones. And you know he had five bucks on him for five bucks i just i couldn't really pass it up i like i like them a lot <laughs> i really like these cards uh these uh mcfarland so i don't really care uh the player that's on them uh so much as i like just the the figures themselves so there's a nice old eddie jones there uh duan wagner there's a, a name you probably don't say very often but he wasn't around for very long but it's cool calves um uh, calves piece there a yeah, fun one to get customized and throw a LeBron's number on there instead, throw a 23 on there. Then he had a nice Yao Ming. That's a cool one right there. So, dug that. And get the Yowster. Uh, I love the way McFarlane's look. Oh, here's the other pinhead I was looking for. Picked up a Griffey one, too. Pretty cool. Add that one to the PC with the uh, all the other Griffey stuff I got. And then we got a bunch more McFarlane's here. I'll show you real quick. There's a Jason Giambi. Very nice, Jason Jambi. And then we got a really nice Gary Payton. Super cool. Gary the Glove Payton. Loved it, especially the Lakers uniform. Uh, what else we get here? 
I'm going to show you guys retail pickups here in just a second too. What I picked up the last two days at stores. Uh, got the Scott Rowland here. He'll be a Hall of Famer someday. Pretty darn sure. So that's a pretty cool one. Uh, see the pose. See the pose of him is kind of like leaning and throwing. Kind of like a diving throw. Pretty cool. And we got uh, Adam Dunn. Great, great baseball player. I mean, guy hit four, over 400 home runs. I mean, did strike out a lot. But he was actually a surprisingly decent ball player. Uh, through the years. All right, so we got about eight more left here. Larry Walker, Hall of Famer. I'll go see him here in a couple of days uh, when he's getting inducted in the Hall of Fame. Fly out on the fifth back to New York. That one's pretty cool. Nice Nomar. Nomar Garcia Power one. Always love Nomar. What number there? This is number number five. Joe DiMaggio's number, but on the wrong team. <laughs> Nomar's a great one right there. And then we got. Let's see here. Kirk Schilling. He'll be a future Hall of Famer too, as far as I'm concerned. But what do I know? I don't vote. I'm not on the Hall of Fame committee or the Writers Association. I got a nice uh, uh, Marcus Nasland um, hockey one. Pretty cool. What else? Then we get this uh, Pudge Rodriguez. Nice one of him throwing. Very cool. Look into my pudgy eyes. <laughs> nice Pudge right there. Look at those eyes. Determination right there, guys. And I got this A Rod here. A Rod backhand and a ball. Very cool. And then we got this uh, Yaron. Uh, I don't know how to say this guy's last name, actually. Again, la? no idea, but I just wanted it because I love them. I love these friggin McFarlands. And then last but not least, very cool New York Rangers. I uh, love this jersey, uh, alternate jersey here. You got the uh, Anson Carter, the Statue of Liberty, and that's my phone ringing. All right, sorry about that. Yeah, I got a phone call from my buddy. Uh, and then, yeah, this is the, uh, the Anson Carter. Very cool, with the uh, Rangers there. I like this one a lot too. So, I'm going to pause the video for a second and just get some more stuff out for you. Alrighty. See, uh, up in Pocatello, I was able to get uh, one of each of the new pack art uh, for the Evolving Skies Pokemon. So, that was pretty cool. They had just put out a big uh, full restock on those right there. So, I just grabbed one of each of the uh, of the pack art. So, I like to collect those right there. Uh, they had a whole bunch of them. They had literally a full giant display. Oh, what else did I get? So I picked up a couple, a couple more of these right here. The elite football. Uh, let's see. Then I picked up those are cars. You guys probably don't want to see cars. Uh, I got a bunch of these right here between me and Brad. He got. He's been grabbing me a few of these. He found me some too, but I found some uh, uh, mosaic soccer um, fat packs. I was able to get four of those today, and then he was able to get me a bunch of them yesterday. Or the last couple days, I should say. Uh, there's a total of six, eight, and looks like ten, ten total, so that's pretty cool. Uh, and then, I think lastly, I uh, got the, you got me these right here too yesterday, so... I was able to get a couple of these right here to do a, a break. And that's it. So let me know what you think about the card show. Or sorry, the card shop. Like I said, Silver Slugger Sports Cards and M in Idaho. Uh, and let me know what you think about the rest of the pickups uh, here today and yesterday. A couple chromes and, uh, like I said, 10 of those mosaics. A couple more of these elites, which are a little expensive, but I really think that they're really nice cards. So that's it for this video, guys. You guys have a good rest of the day, and I'll talk to you soon. Later.